Hello, Memorial family. And I'm very pleased to report that our numbers of COVID patients in our facilities have really declined. As a matter of fact, we are below 60 patients in the healthcare system. And although our COVID census has declined, we're still seeing an increase in the number of regular patients, which requires staffing. As a result, the Board of Commissioners have approved retention bonuses, changes in salaries, as well as other ways that we can enhance the ability of recruitment as well as retention. I would also like to update everyone on the CEO search to replace me. The Board of Commissioners have been working on this project now for several months. And this week, we started interviews with four final candidates. And hopefully, we'll have a decision before the end of the month of April. And let's hear more from our Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Mark Knapp. Hello. It's great to be with you again. I want to take a couple of minutes right now to fill you in about what's going on with COVID. So we live through Delta and we live through Omicron. And right now, believe it or not, there is another surge happening, but it's sort of in the background. There's a variant that's called BA2. It's actually a variant of the Omicron virus. So far, we're not seeing any real surge in numbers of patients coming to the hospital. In fact, we're at the lowest level that we've been since the beginning of the pandemic. Now, it doesn't mean that we can let down our guard. One of the things that we can do about being vigilant, in addition to paying attention to what's happening in terms of the numbers of patients that are, that are getting infected, is to protect ourselves with vaccination. Overall, we're, I'm happy to say that the vaccination rate in Broward County is, is very high. And, and I'm grateful to our community for, for making sure that they are protecting themselves. There's still opportunity because a lot of those people really only got one dose. And so if you're one of those, please go ahead and get your second dose. And if you've been vaccinated and you're over the age of 50, you should really consider getting an additional booster. The FDA has just approved it. The CDC has come out and endorsed it. And basically, if you've over 50 and you've gotten your first two doses or a single dose of Johnson & Johnson, and you got the booster, if you're at least four months after that third dose, then it's, it's wise to probably get another dose. With the falling numbers of cases, I'm really happy to let everybody know that we've moved to what we call moderate risk status. That means we've basically opened up visitation. The only restrictions that we have right now is really for patients who are infected with COVID. And the numbers of COVID patients are, again, as I've mentioned, very, very low. Happily, our community is able to come in and visit their loved ones. And that's good for the people who want to visit. It's good for the patients. And honestly, it's good for our staff. I'd like to share some gratitude with all of you, and that is to reflect back on, on what we've done together as a community and as an organization of caregivers. We have to remember that people have been sacrificing their own health, uh, their own well-being, the time with their families to be able to take care of, of our community. So with that, I would like to thank the entire community, caregivers and patients alike, and family and support for everything that we do together to protect ourselves, to protect our community, and to make sure that we are healthy. Thanks. I'd like to report that in our efforts to service the consumer better, last week we had a ribbon cutting ceremony in Hollandale Beach for Memorial Cancer Institute. Here we'll have infusion sites, we'll have physician offices that will double the previous site in Aventura. This project has been ongoing now for almost two years and we're so pleased that it's finally here to service that community. It is through your hard work and dedication that we have overcome a lot of obstacles over the last couple of years. We're grateful for everything that you do and thank you for being part of this organization.